Free to succeed. What are you doing? 2.0. Raid Shadow Legends. We're not redoing it. <laughs> Puppy was in there doing something weird. Um, and I guess we'll never know what it was, but it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, it's all good. All right, we made quite a bit of progress yesterday through the missions. We got hung up on the clan boss one because we'd already used our keys, and I didn't look far enough ahead to know it was coming. But we'll drop a key this morning and be done with that and continue to cruise through. But we, we made pretty good progress. We knocked out a lot of missions yesterday. We <clears throat> are still working on ascension potions and stuff. We did get Gallic to four star. Uh, executioner dropped from the campaign who was you know back in the day was pretty dope I think they nerfed him or something they changed something about him I think that made him less usable but he used to be able to do some really cool stuff but I don't know I feel like something changed about him but anyway uh, we have the void shard from here just in time so again big shout outs to uh, these guys killing it <laughs> I appreciate it uh, so we've got four void shards today Let's throw in another one of you We've got four void shards today, and it's 2x void, so we are gonna pop those I should probably expand that sometime soon Excuse me Otherwise Where are we at on the r chase? I think at reset today. I get him, right? Yeah <laughs> Yeah At reset today. I get him so uh, the accounts going to change today drastically regardless um but we are going to pop these void shards so is there anything else talk worth talking about the little arena bumped up in faction wars a little bit we've got we got up to the boss here Gallic just does that by himself basically um dungeons we pushed up a little bit further yeah we can farm stage eight pretty reliably i think they failed the last run but for the most part, that was pretty reliable. Again, we still need to bump up though, because trying to get the potions I need at, at those lower stages is really tough, man. Uh, you see we're, we're at, what, four of nine? <laughs> and I probably did 30 runs in there. So um, yeah, we've got to go through it at, at some point and clear our index as well. All right, so before we pop, pop, let's talk about the clan. I took back over the rare and to go clan we're currently full if you want to stay up to date on spots opening up i do that in my discord so there's a link below to join my discord when spots open up i usually hop in the raid section and go hey we have a couple of spots if anybody wants them so uh that's that's probably the best thing to do if you are, are wanting to get in the clan and the uh the the arbiter codes apparently i'm supposed to click this and then put in the codes here, uh, I reckon. So shout out to the majority of the people who, who told me that and weren't cockheads about it. Uh, if you were, if you were a cockhead about it, suck a frog dick. You know what I mean? Congratulations. You knew something I didn't know for a minute. There was only like three or four of you, but I figured it was worth addressing you specifically, you cockheads. So let's go ahead and drop in um, these codes and see if this is how this works. So the first one is choice, I believe. Nice, gimme. Next is arbiter. Nice. Next is Betrayal. It was the taste of betrayal, you fucking whore. Next is Harmony. And I think that's all I know right now. Maybe, I think the fifth episode's out now. But I haven't watched it and I don't know what the code is. So, whatever. And then Someone said something about, oh, watch the trailer and get silver. Okay, we'll, we'll do that later, I reckon. So now I have what, these?
those chests just contain Arbiter's Rewards. I guess they just go straight to my... It's not a thing I actually open. It just goes in here, which like, good, we need the silver. Lots of energy too. So we've got lots of XP boost, lots of multi battles, plenty of energy. The bruise will be nice, I reckon. All right, not bad. If those chests go somewhere else, I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to what we're doing today. And I guess I need to expand my roster a little bit. So, geez, dude. All right, 2x voids. The first shards we've ever popped on this account other than green shards. We're going void shards before we even do ancients. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what happens. Our first void champ ever. I mean, could it be more fitting? I feel like the only way it could have been more fitting is if it was hairier. But maybe not. This might be the most fitting first void champ for us to pull motherfucking stone skin second was an epic ooh that's nice that's real nice that's real nice dude ooh yeah that is that is really really nice dude that's going to be very helpful second void shard was urgrim All right, I always called him Armentine Skeleton because <laughs> I never bothered to read it all. Good old Armentine, Ovaltine Skeleton. All right, last Void Shard, what do we got? What do we got, what do we got? All right, it is, I mean, that's also fantastic. Like, also fantastic. That was not a bad haul at, at all for, for four Void Shards. We'll let the Ancients continue to pile up. Reliquary Tender and Urigrim out of four is quite a day. That is that is quite a day. Let's uh make sure she's locked. I don't know much about these two. Block buffs, block active skills, heal reduction. Yeah, I don't think there's much to that. He puts him up for one turn. He's got heal reduction, but he doesn't do multi-hits. I don't think there's much going on there. And you've got an A1 provoke. Fills his own turn meter. Debuffs him, defense buffs himself. Attacks all enemies with a slow. Yeah, also, I mean, you know, we'll see. No. Definitely usable, though and crazy, crazy pull right there. So early in the game. So we've got Deacon, Jamarsa, Urogrim. We're about to get our attack today. Uh, we're about to pop off, dude. We're, we're about to be in real good shape. Um, <laughs> that's kind of wild actually that we pulled him so soon. So let's actually go ahead and just dump a few brews in him. Just do like that, just to get a few levels in him. And I don't know that I have much gear yet. I'm probably going to go through very, very soon and sell all my one and two star gear. Probably most of my three stars. Well, I think I'm getting up to the point where I'm starting to get access to four star gear. So I think we're about to eliminate everything lower. And also, yeah. Urogrim is going to be so nice to have. Right. See, that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought those chests were going to go into my inventory like that. But I'm fine with the stuff, too. Yes! I needed those. I needed those real bad, dude. Alright, so for now, do I even have... I don't even think it's worth putting any of this on him. Like, let's go ahead and do this, actually. Um, how do we do this? Rank and rarity. One star, two star. And then we can go sell, select all. Get rid of it like that. 
And then th three star, how much three star gear do we even have? I might hang under the three star gear for now. It might be usable. Yeah, that's dope. That's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice, dude. Okay, so we'll um we'll just keep our grind going. It's gonna be kind of a short episode today. We'll keep the grind going. If we get any more void shards, void shards, uh, we might do another episode tomorrow just to pop it during the 2x void. If not, we'll probably just get back to it Monday, which I know is going to be different days for you guys because I live in the future. But either way, I'll see you guys soon. We're going to keep grinding. The account's going to look very different next time you see it. We're going to have a legendary. We're going to have a few of these guys built. We're probably going to be able to push deeper in the potion keeps, which means we're going to be able to start getting some potions, which means we're going to be able to start getting some ascensions. Uh, so yeah, I, I anticipate that, especially if I don't make a video tomorrow, our next video on Monday, the account's going to be in a very different position than it's in right now. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have good luck with your void charts today, and we'll uh, we'll see you later.